In Williamsburg, Brooklyn, an eighth generation coffee maker is roasting beans from his family's farms in Yemen. This one, this is Jubani, this one is Sanani. And what's the difference? The difference between Jubani and Sanani, Jubani is a mix between light roast, medium roast, coffee house, ginger, cinnamon, cardamom, city name called Jubani. This one is Sanani, it's also very city in Yemen, from Sanaa, um, called Sanani. So it's a mix between just medium roast and cardamom. My name is Ibrahim Akhisbani. Where are we today? <laughs> we are in Gahwa House, Williamsburg. We bring our coffee from Yemen, pancake, uh, sun dry. So this is rich flavor, like chocolate, apple, mango, special and very different. It smells so good. I can smell it through a mask. People find coffee and pour coffee and make coffee. Are there any myths about coffee that people think are true that are not true? Yeah, people think mocha is coffee we add chocolate to it. Mocha is coffee with natural chocolate flavor come from Yemen. First shipments are shipped from Port of Mocha to Holland, Europe and different countries. They said this coffee come from where? They said from Mocha. And so they taste the chocolate flavor on it. A lot of people, they don't know coffee come from where, they don't know what's, what is Yemen, they don't know. Uh, they don't even, they didn't even hear about Yemen. That's why I tried to put the map in the wall so when everyone comes, they're gonna see Yemen in the map and they're gonna know the history of the coffee, how coffee starts from Yemen and grows everywhere. They're gonna know Yemen is behind every smile in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's why I wanna tell everyone about it. Mm -hmm. On the other side, mm -hmm. this is for my father's side. All of them they make coffee, all of them they grow coffee. The one who's still alive, they still making coffee. This one is my brother. This is when we do the sun dry. It's been alive. You carry the message. You want to follow what your grandfather, what your brother, what your grand grandfather did. When I grew up, I remember my, my mom, she roast coffee like all the time. She grinded it. This smell just, smart. I still remember it till now. What is this that you're making? This is mafawar. This is medium roast, served with cardamom. Evaporated milk. Too. You know what's good once it starts to foam. Try to get the exact amount, because that small difference is what really makes it perfect. These are Yemeni traditional pastries. They have sabaya, it has uh, butter inside, and honey on top. And this one is called honeycomb. It has cream cheese inside, and we also put honey on top. In Yemen, are those typically had for breakfast? Is sabaya, there... we eat it every day. Morning, night, it doesn't matter. Coffee always, if you want to fresh, Better. We roast coffee here every day, sometimes the other day. So you're really doing everything the hard way, right? Yes. It's hard, but you enjoy it. It's fun. If you're gonna make it from your heart, it's gonna come out good. <laughs> the sure of coffee in Yemen is there is not a lot of coffee shop over there because everyone make it at home. If they didn't drink it first when they wake up and make it at home, uh, it's not gonna be a good day. <laughs> after food, after everything, they have drink coffee. They drink coffee at night and they go to sleep. Nice. I think I'll be at night, I go see. It doesn't bother me. People who come in here who are originally from Yemen, what do they say about it? This is the most important thing. People come from Yemen and they say thank you. The good picture of Yemen and a lot of people they didn't know about it. What's your favorite part of the job here? To talk to the people, you know. It's not just about coffee, it's a story, it's not just about money, it's, it's a message I want to send to everyone. 